Hello again for another question and answer session. Thank you very much for joining me. I really appreciate that everybody's um, texting and emailing in. And if you're, you have a question you want answering, it's on info at coolwork.com. So I'm going to start off with two separate questions from um, Instagram from, I can't do it, MHS Stromalagi and Sartoria7 um, about the roller frame. Uh, uh, one question one is is there an alternative to lacing the sides i do it when i stitch but i admit to finding it frustrating as i want to keep stitching not reset my frame and two is can you recommend a good brand of roller frame right i'll deal with the first one uh that's really well answered on harriet roberts um uh, video that she did for us so if you go back onto our youtube uh clips you'll see how to lace a roller frame or a of slate frame so that really answers that can you recommend a good brand of roller frame well to be honest roller frames are a bit of a compromise compared to a slate frame and i'd go for a slate frame every time but i do use lcb lbc have you put it um roller frames with the tape so i do use them but they are a fiddle and you've got to be pretty strong to get them to be really tight so for cruel work they're great for canvas work, but for cool work, I personally use the barrel frame with a hoop or the seat frame with a hoop or a slate frame for something very big. So uh, mm, next one, um, Esther Lutrec asks about thread and cling film. Hello, Philippa. Good morning from Spain. Oh, <laughs> good morning. Um, please, why do you put the transparent film on under which DMC threads can I use for cruel? Well, DMC don't make a, a cruel embroidery wool and cruel work really is defined by wool and so I would use uh, DMC threads for laden couch work or French knots or for outline stitches but for the long and short soft shading you always need wool or silk and wool which is um, a more challenging way of using soft shading than, than wool. Wool is much easier. <clears throat> Right. Which question was I on? Oh, yes. And um, why do you put the transparent, transparent film on? That's to protect your work. So you put that over your work, squash the outer ring over it. So you only need that if you're using a ring hoop or, you know, frame with an outer area that you squash down. Right. Um, Marcy. Molinaro, who I know very well. Uh, hello, Marcy. How nice that you um, emailed in. And I know she's a real expert, so I'm very flattered. Um, securing the edges of the slate frame. Thanks to you all. Now I know how to start my days. Richard and Philippa Hour. She just answered one of the... She just answered one of securing a slate frame. So off to search videos on slate frames. How to secure the edges would be great. Thanks again. Marcy. I think, Marcy, that was also answered very well on Harriet Roberts' um, very brilliant video. And I'll throw back, back to Harriet to go over again, um, if anybody would like. So just if you'd let me know anything about slate frames, I think Harriet's really on it because she's just started a massive, another monster kit for us. So um, I think you'll, you'll be wise to have that. Shout outs, Taffy Walker. Um, thank you for the whole cycle of video during the shelter in place restraint. I look, I can't wait to see them. And when I do, I end up watching them each several times. They make me laugh along with you and Richard and Mrs. Bossy Boots and the whole cast. I think Richard will be great to start a new career as a videographer. So I think Richard is very happy, aren't you, Richard, with your music career? <laughs> um, so I'm just, um, I've had to, I haven't even brought you a cup of coffee today. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. I had to make my own. Full of good intentions, but mm. sorry I didn't quite manage it. Um, I'm just now starting my Munca monster Muncaster and posted a question on the Facebook Muncaster page for the last evening. I have removed my posting and a question about cool stone stitch because your most recent video answered the question in a most excellent manner. There you go, Richard. You see, we're better than we thought. I'm glad to say that we both call this most basic but lovely stitch stem stitch. I can see clearly in the video the line and how your hands are creating that line. Thank you both. I'm a self-taught embroiderer, but I have to admit, I really like having you fill the role of, filling the role of teacher. A really fun teacher indeed. Although I'll be working the Muncaster for a good while, the Christmas stocking looks so fun, I'll be stitching along only later. About a month ago, I purchased some of your linen twill, knowing I'd eventually need it. No doubt some of the cloth will be purposed for the, for the stocking. 
I may need to make three of the stockings too, uh, or another person with lots of grandchildren, I feel. Meanwhile, I've been waiting for more fun videos. Thank you, Taffy Walker. Right, Catherine Malloy. Thank you, Taffy. Thank you for all your hard work and keeping in touch. Your kits are just wonderful. I finished another one, a bit of adding a bit of individuality on the outer edge. Oh, I like, I like you, Kathleen. You sound like a woman after my own heart. Photo attached. Ooh, oh, Karen, we've got to show the photo. So hopefully Karen will add this because um, Karen does all the editing and posts this for us. I couldn't possibly do this. Um, very small job, but I could not do this without the fantastic team that we have here. Right. Kaline Verbeek, looking forward to stitching your stitching with friends. We have no virus in her area of East Goodsland. We do keep our distance, love collecting mail. 11 o'clock, we line up outside, very small area, very social. And then embroidering the acorns and oak leaves. And, uh, and if you're, you have a question you want answering, it's on info at cruelwork.com. 